Hey guys, this is Sora Web from TechYard and welcome back to our channel. And today I've got a tutorial so that you can enable multi window in your Redmi 3S or 3S Prime. So, but you, your phone must be rooted and exposed installer must be installed. If you don't know how to do that, uh, do go through the description section. There are videos for you. And yes, guys, you can see my exposed installer is properly set up without any issue. So, guys, we have to uh, you know install two APKs. Basically, they're modules in the form of apk so we have to flash the uh, this one this name is very weird x h f w 3 i'm seriously it's very weird anyways uh, first of all uh, this module and then comes another module i will give you all the necessary links in the description below make sure you check that so here is the x bridge uh, module that we have to install and afterwards it is done uh, just go back to your home screen you can see it right here and you can see that two notifications are there from exposed so guys my voice might be kind of different I'm not very well conditioned anyways uh, just enable both the modules and then it will ask you for reboot I mean it will say that the modules will be active after reboot so you have to reboot so just reboot it and guys uh, for more videos like this for more development videos on redmi 3s or 3s prime do subscribe to our channel and yes guys uh, now coming to the modules well, there are two uh, things that you can see XBreeze and XH, whatever it is. So you can see that there are a lot of options which are, you know, ticked to enable. So yeah, we have to enable it manually. I've already done that. Even in, uh, you know, sub options like this, we have to enable all of them. You have to do it manually. I won't, I haven't shown you that because it will take a lot of time, but you have to do that manually. Make sure you do that for all the options. I'm again repeating for all the options. Well, now in XH FW3, there you can see there are some whitelisting apps like uh, Chrome, Google Play Services, YouTube. You can easily add a lot of more apps by pressing the uh, plus button on uh, on the above. So yeah, and that then you can easily do stops with you know a lot of uh, stuff regarding the multi window and stuff. So yeah, so I'm keeping up with original icons. What this uh, modules actually do is that they you know make like you can see that right here you can see a window has been created for youtube and yeah sometimes the apps might take time to load that's very much obvious because it's not official it is uh, kind of a development phase and uh, it's a framework so it's not properly synced it does the work without any hassle but at, at times uh, the app takes time to load so yeah you people uh, make sure that it is gonna happen so and guys uh, here is the GTX 1080 tie and I'm just crazy for that graphics card anyways I'm opening the chrome chrome does, didn't took a lot of time to load so yeah that, that I like I said happens at time so search for something you can see on the above there is a YouTube going on and on the downside there is so here it is my channel just press it here and it will open the my own channel from the YouTube app so there are Two windows and I can easily drag them and set uh, my my necessary I mean the position that I want we can easily minimize that from there on and then we can easily drag the window wherever we want change its uh, width change its size it's you can easily do that in this way as well one side on the left one uh, app on the right and it looks so perfectly fine yeah like I said at times it was a bit you know took time to load the apps but uh, after that it didn't, it didn't misbehave with me there were no force close issue or like that it was pretty fine so guys uh, this is all for today do like this video and share with your friends and if you don't like it you know what to do do subscribe to our channel for other videos like that stay awesome stay subscribed stay with us and i will see you in my next video bye bye now